if you want to run some command after a container is created or just before it gets deleted then you can use kubernetes lifestyle hooks the use cases of these kubernetes lifestyle hooks are to log container events implement cleanup scripts and run asynchronous tasks there are two kubernetes lifestyle hooks one is post start <clears throat> and the other is pre stop post start handlers for this hook are called immediately after a container is created or a new container is created. For the pre-stop, this hook invoked immediately before Kubernetes terminates a container. So just to reiterate, post start is when a new container is created, then a handler is called, and for the pre-stop, it is just right before the, con the Kubernetes container is terminated. There are two mechanisms through which we can use the handler for these hooks. One is exec and the other one is HTTP. For the exec, this runs a specified command inside the container. For the HTTP, this makes an HTTP request to a URL inside the container. Okay, now let's do some hands-on demo as how exactly this works. So for this demo, I'm using AWS EKS Kubernetes cluster, which I already have provisioned. And I have created few manifest of Kubernetes to demonstrate both the hooks, pre post start and pre-stop, and also the mechanism. In this manifest, you define hook handlers for the pods using their containers. And you use lifecycle manifest field in the manifest of these containers. Within this field, you set the post start and pre-stop properties to implement one or both of the available hooks. So let's check out some examples. In this first example, which is being displayed on your screen, we are using um, the post start exec one. So the hook is post start and the mechanism is exec. And if you see that on line number 19, I have defined this life cycle. In this life cycle, I have post start and I'm just executing one command echo started and I'm redirecting the output to the pod log dot log file. So what happens is when this new container is created within the pod, right after this creation, the Kubernetes runs this exec command because we have done post start hook. So let's check our pods. So the name of this pod is hooked pod exec. As you can see, hook, hook pod exec is running. It's both ready and running. So in order to check uh, if it has redirected this started to this pod log dot log, Let's log in to this container. So I just logged into this container, and now all we need to do is to just get this pod log file. So as you can see, it has put in started there, which is all good. So, what this tells us that the hook was called successfully. An exec hook is considered successful if its command exits with a zero status code. Okay. Now let's check another scenario. Now in this manifest, I am creating a new pod called as hooked pod error. And I'm using the post start hook. And in the command, I'm using a dummy error command, which is an invalid command. So the broken post start hook will cause the pod startup to fail. And we can use kubectl command to describe the event history of this hook. In order to do that, let's run the describe command on this hook pod error pod. Sorry, first let me exit from this and I will clear my screen. Now, just to see which pods are running or present in our Kubernetes cluster in the default namespace, as you can see. I already created this hook port error and the status is crash loop back off. Let's <clears throat> describe its events. 
okay so here you can see that if i just scroll a tad bit up so it successfully assigned this to this forget node so i'm using ek uh, forget cluster afterwards um, there are some informational messages and then here you can see it is saying that exact lifecycle hook for container this import this failed because it says dummy error this command doesn't exist and then it tried few times and um, it just the status was the crash to back off so the fail uh, post start hook event reveals the handler fail because dummy error isn't a valid executable inside this container this caused the container to be killed and restarted in a back off loop as you can see from its status from the kubectl uh, kubectl get ports command so it is in the crash loop back off and uh, it it will be stuck like this perpetually as a dummy error will never be executed right so let's jump to the next example where we are using pre-stop hook in this manifest we are using pre-stop hook um, with the http which is another mechanism and in this one instead of using the exact command all we are doing we are using the https with the stop so you need to have this url present in your um, container so that when uh, you would access that URL, it will give you that information uh, which it populated after creating this container. Similarly, uh, we can put this HTTP mechanism with a post start hook. And in, uh, in this one, we have um, running this post start um, command or URL at port 80. So, there are few other points which you need to remember when you are running um, when you are running these lifestyle hooks. One thing to remember is that uh, these lifestyle hooks immediately kill their container if they fail. You need to make sure your commands and HTTP endpoints are free of error to avoid unexpected port startup issues. Another thing which you need to keep in mind is that pre-stop hooks only fire when a pod is terminated due to deletion, resource exhaustion, a probe failure, or a similar event. The hook will not be called for containers that stop naturally because their process finishes its task and exits with a zero error code. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.